All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man, Jay Will. So some of you guys have requested this. Actually, a lot of you guys requested it. I bring out some of the Xiaomi phones from the previous models and you know compare them to current models. And here they are. So uh, these are just randomly placed on the table here. This is the Mi A2, the Mi A1, uh, the Redmi Note 5, and the Redmi 5, uh, 5 Plus. So where do we start? Um, some of you guys have asked should i buy or i just bought so you know i kind of wanted to you know see if this was a good purchase or not i don't know what you plan to gather from this video uh, whoever you know all those people and this isn't just one or two it's several people have requested um uh, that i do some sort of comparison with these phones uh just to kind of you know show the differences between the two and we're just going to briefly talk about them in this video so because these phones are pretty much the same in a lot of ways um, and the the value is just there with these phones so first let's start with hardware on them I'm gonna flip them over and you can see them so they all have uh, and again these are all very similar phones they all have a fingerprint reader on the back and they all have cameras, but this one has a single camera. These have dual cameras here. Now, I didn't bring the S2 in uh, because the S2, uh, I let my daughter use that phone. Uh, she uh, need, wanted a new phone, so I let her. I laid out all the phones and she picked the S2, and that's fine. But the S2 is right in line with these phones. However, uh, the Mi A2, Mi A1, Note 5, and 5 Plus pretty much share the same hardware uh, they all have the metal builds the glass front uh, the designs are very identical uh, for these two and then the designs are identical obviously for these two um, I really like all the hardware on these um, even though this one they decided to take away the headphone jack on the latest version the Mi A2 uh, I still like it I just use Bluetooth when I use that and that's not really a thing uh, so hardware wise, you know, they're, they're, they're fine. I don't, I don't see uh, a reason that I would say one is better than the other. Uh, they're all, they're all good for hardware. Now this wallpaper before you ask, I got it from the Mi A2 and I put it on all the other phones. So that's where the, I've, I've been getting that, um, uh, question a lot on social media. So that's where I got the wallpaper from. I took it off of this phone and put it on all these other phones. So it's probably gonna look best on these phones right here or this phone, it probably looks a little darker uh, on these phones for whatever reason, I don't know. Uh, but uh, they're, they're all pretty much the same, like I said. So 1080p displays uh, on these phones across the board, four gigs of RAM, across the board except these three have 64 gigs of storage and this one has 32 uh, and that's just a, an option you can get 64 and up to 128 gigs on this phone with a 6 gig model uh, so across the board 4 gigs of RAM and, and you know they're, they're rolling strong I don't have any problems with uh, RAM management on any of these phones the displays they all look good but I favor these two displays a little more. They're a little bit more vibrant, it appears, and they appear brighter uh, for the same photos. Now, these are ported photos, so depending on what angle it's looking at. Uh, now, in person, they look great. Now, they're probably gonna look okay over camera, uh, or looking at over over the camera, but in person, they look real, they all look great. It's just that these two, uh, the, the, Mi, the Mi A devices, they look much brighter. Uh, and that's, I don't know what that's about, uh, but they just look way more vibrant. Uh, and the photo originally came from this phone, so it's probably obviously going to look great on this phone. Uh, but these two over here just seem to have really nice displays when comparing it to uh, these two Redmi phones. And um, I don't know what that's about, but it's just a thing. Um, as far as features and performance go, all of these phones perform very well, man. I just don't have any problems with them uh, not performing well. You know, the four gigs of RAM do them justice, and that's just what it is. So if you're considering either one of these, 
and you're worried about it not performing well, in my testing, in my experience, they all perform very, very well, and I just don't have any problems uh, with them uh, as far as daily driving them and you know getting usage out of them. They all perform great, uh, no no issues at all. They all these phones have all these gestures and things like that, three finger and all these different things. Honestly, I don't use any of that, but it is there and it's in the settings. Um, and you know those those are just things that you could actually use. Uh, I just don't the quick ball the um, hand gestures. I just don't use any of that one hand mode. I don't I don't do any of this. Uh, and I'm just being honest. But the options are there, so it doesn't mean that it's something that's not useful. Just for me, I'm not interested in using that. But they all have these types of of gestures. Uh, and let me check over here just to be sure because I remember seeing the gestures on all the phones. But let me just double check before I, I tell you that because these are stock Android phones. I stand corrected. These two don't have those gestures uh, because these are stock Android phones and these two do have the gestures. Uh, but with that being said, I don't use the gestures, so it really doesn't matter to me whether they have them or not, but they are there. Uh, but whatever gestures come with stock Android are over here and whatever gestures come with the, the um, Xiaomi software are over here. And that's gonna be a difference between the two. So if you're a person who uses a lot of gestures, which I don't know very many people who do that, it is a possibility, you might favor some of the features on this phone but features for me only go so far because I don't use a lot of them I just use the phone for the basics uh, when it comes to things like that now as far as cameras go um, the camera on this phone is probably the best of all of these phones um, uh, and then I would probably rank this one maybe this one next and this one last um, this one used to be like really good but then when I started to get these other versions from Xiaomi they just improved on their cameras and that's not to say that this one is bad it's fantastic these two are great and this one is just really good uh, and that's just how it should be uh, when it comes to comparing devices the cameras uh, that they're saying they're upgrading the, the changes that they're, they're making I should say um, when they're saying they're making them, we should be able to see them. And in this instance, you can very well see um, the improvements uh, from, you know, the changes done from this device here to this device. This camera to me is, uh, performs a little bit better than this camera, and that's just what it is. Um, as far as battery life goes, folks, battery life on all of these phones are fantastic. You should be able to get at least a full day out of all of these phones, hands down no no ifs ands or buts you should be able to get a full day on all of these phones and i'm a heavy user and i can still grab a full day so you know i'll leave that up to you to determine whether or not you think you're going to get a full day but i'm telling you you should definitely get a full day out of all these phones this is no way you shouldn't get a full day i don't i don't see how you how you couldn't because uh, the battery life on these are really really long uh, and you know you've got a 3000 over here and then this one has a uh, 3000 as well now these two over here are packing a little bit different, um, but the battery life uh, is still good on them. Uh, they both have 4,000 milliamp hour batteries, which would, would, would make you believe that they're just so much better than these two. Uh, but in actuality, in real world testing, these all can pretty much roll about the same for battery life, depending on who you are. So you have 4,000 batteries, uh, 4,000 milliamp hour batteries over here and 3,000 over here, but they're all great for battery life. They're all great. So Bluetooth 4.2 um, uh, on on this one, right? Bluetooth 4.2 on this one, and this one has Bluetooth 5 4.2 and 5.0. So 5.0 on the pretty much the new versions. This one and this one have 5.0. This one and this one have 4.2. Uh, but not that that's gonna make any difference. I, I have to point that out though, um, because some people might ask that. These this one records has 4K recording for the cameras. If you are wondering, uh, and this one has 4K recording for the cameras, um, and um, for these two right here, uh, this one has 4K recording. Wait, I'm sorry. This one has 1080p recording at the highest uh, rating for the camera, and this one has uh, 4K recording. And so I'm not gonna put any samples up or anything like that. Just check my check back for all the reviews I've done on these phones so far, uh, and just look there. You know, all of these are on 8.8.1 or at least 8.0. No, these are on 8.1.0, 8.0, 8.0, 8.0, 8.0, 8.0, 8.0, 8.0, 8.0, 8.0, 8.0, 8.0, 8.0, 8.0, 8.0, 8.0, 8.0,
uh, 8.1.0 uh, and this one I believe is on 8.1.0 as well yeah 8.1.0 this one is still on 7.1.2 yeah uh, but that doesn't mean that it's bad you know it still flows right along and I'm, I'm pretty happy with it so I use these phones regularly uh, the older they get the more I you know stop using them but I don't, I don't want to put up a long video on this because this is all my personal preference on what I feel about these phones. But some of you guys wanted to see all these side by side. And, you know, as far as hardware goes, which one do I prefer the best or the most? Um, I actually prefer, I can tell you as far as weight goes, you can look these specs up yourself. Uh, but as far as weight goes, this is the heaviest one of them all. And then comes this one. Uh, and then this one. And this one is just super lightweight for some reason. It's the new design of it. Um, it's, it's really, really nice. IR blasters too on these phones, folks. That's the the good part about Xiaomi phones is there is an IR blaster on all of these phones. And unfortunately, they took away the headphone jack on on the new one, but the other three still have a headphone jack. So, you know, all of these videos that you see from YouTubers are all about personal preference, folks. They're all about personal preference. So you have to you have to decide whether or not you are going to choose whatever device is for you. All of these phones are great to me. Um, but I feel like if I had to choose only one, this is going to boil down to you what operating system or what you like. And these two run the Xiaomi skin, which they all get updates regularly. I got two updates on these at the same time. Uh, and these are obviously going to get stock Android updates. So it's a matter of what you're going to use. If you like stock Android, you're probably going to lean more towards these. And I can actually recommend either one of these. I'm not going to just say, oh, get the Mi A2 because it's a new one. Uh, but they both are great. You're just going to get a little bit better cameras out of this one. Uh, and this has the Snapdragon 660. This has the Snapdragon 625. Um, I believe these two both have the Snapdragon 625 as well. So this the Snapdragon 625 was and still is a tried and true processor. Um, but no, this one has the Snapdragon 636. So many phones here. This one has a 636, which is based on the Snapdragon 660 platform. And these two have the Snapdragon 625. Nonetheless, folks, they're all great processors and they all run good. This one is really fast though when it comes to day-to-day -to -day tasks. And the 625 is not so much showing its age, but if you can get a 660 processor, um, I think the 660 performs better than the 636. And I have other phones with the 636. And you know, this is the Asus Zenfone 5. Um, and it's right in line with these phones right here. It's actually better to me better uh, than I like I like it better than all three of these. I'm still up in the air about how I feel against this phone right here. Uh, but um, I'm telling you folks, uh, this is a this is a great lineup from 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 Xiaomi. And um, I'll, the Moto, I got my Moto over here. I'm charging it. I got my Moto E5 Plus. It's another good one. Uh, but all of these pocket-friendly phones are getting better and better and better. And we win when this happens. We win when a company like Xiaomi brings out all these premium phones. And I have other Xiaomi phones, but I didn't want to lay them all out. I just wanted to get some of the later ones here and 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 talk about them next to each other and, and, and let you know that these are all great options. So no matter which one you have, um, don't make a decision or based on this video or any other video as to why your phone you should switch and buy the latest version. Uh, but what I would tell you is that uh, in this Mi A2, uh, I, I like stock Android, I like phones that are close to stock Android and software, and this is stock Android getting, oh, it gets, these two are, are 8.1. I know 9 is out now, but these phones will probably definitely get it because they're Android 1 phones, which is com coming straight from Google. So this is gonna be exciting. Uh, but the Xiaomi lineup, it could take over the U.S. if the powers that be would, would drop their drop their guard down, so we can see because all these phones are under 300 bucks each. I mean, some of them are down to under 200, and you, when you consider all this nice premium hardware right here, is better to me than some of my phones that are four or five times the cost. Personal personal experience and personal preference. I don't see any stellar performance from my flagship flagships over these phones. So that's just me. But it's your man, Jay Will. Long discussion on some of the Xiaomi phones that I decided to bring out to show you on camera here. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a comment down low, below on which Xiaomi device you have. Even though I'm not showing it here, I probably have it. <laughs> if I don't, 
I've had it. Uh, my big boy, my, the, my uh, Mi Max 2, for those that have been asking, yes, I'm gonna have the Mi Max 3. Uh, just give me some time, but it's, you know, I'm trying to review the phones in the order that I get them, and I can only use like two or three phones at a time and really give you an honest opinion about them, so. Um, yeah, I'm a weekend with this phone, that video is up. Uh, so um, check that out. But uh, of these, man, I'm, I'm definitely feeling this one the most. Uh, so it's your man, J. Will. Things could change, though. They could change. It's your man, J. Will. Xiaomi, I wish you would take over the U.S. and bring these phones like this to the carriers because a lot of people ask, does it work with 4G LG? Does it work with T-Mobile? Does it work with AT&T? Yes to all those questions. Yes. That's your answer. Yes. Uh, but coverage depends on where you live. This one right here on the top has all the necessary bands for you to fully be covered throughout the US. I'm not talking about band 66 for T-Mobile and things like that, but it does have band two and four and three and five and one. So AT&T customers, you know, you should be okay with, in, with LTE as long and, and also T-Mobile customers. So, um, Mr. Man J. Will, here they are uh, for now. Leave a comment down below on which phone you have, this Xiaomi. And, uh, uh, thanks for, for thanks for supporting on this long version of this discussion. I'll uh, take care, guys.